Hi, I'm Rocco Steno and welcome to Storymakers. You may notice something different. Besides my bow tie, I have something around my neck. It is an Hawaiian lei. And that's because our guest, Lori Buteris, is in Hawaii. Welcome, Lori. Aloha, Rocco. And you're here to tell us about your book, Gift from God. So, Lori, can you tell us what the book's about? Oh, I would love to, Rocco. Thank you for asking. Um, one day, my son Jacob said, Mom, can you tell me a story about me? And so I did. And that's how Gift from God came to be. It is a story about a mother's love and parenting a child with a disability. A disability? What is a disability? A disability is something that makes it difficult or impossible for a person to perform a task or do something that most people can do. So there are many adults and children that have disabilities. Some you can see and some that you can't see. We should all embrace our differences, right? Oh, absolutely. Kids shouldn't be afraid to be different. If we were all the same, the world would be a boring place. It is our differences that make the world beautiful. Yes, like for example, some people use their right hand and others use their left hand. You know, that's a minor difference, but it is a difference. Speaking of being different, Rocco, is there something you do differently than others? Well, it's not very different, but it is different. Most people don't need eyeglasses, but I do. Rocco, I have a difference too. Sometimes I have trouble hearing when people speak to me or music or the TV, so I have to either ask them to repeat themselves or turn the volume up. So your background there, Lori, you have palm trees. And I'm assuming the reason you have palm trees is that when you look out your window, you see palm trees. Is that right? That is right, Rocco. I do. Have you always lived in Hawaii? So Hawaii is our home, Rocco. I was born here and then I moved away when I was younger. And then we came back about 15 years ago when my husband got stationed here with the Coast Guard and my son Jacob was born here. There are some words we want to share with our viewers today. Uh, actually, three words we want to share. Diagnosis, special needs, and unique. Diagnosis is the act or process of finding out the nature of an illness or injury by examining its signs and symptoms. Special needs means having additional or different educational or physical needs than most people. Unique means being unlike anything else. Lori, I'm sure you agree that we're all unique in many ways. So viewers, what makes you unique? What's your special gift? Write it down on an index card and put it in an envelope and share it with a special someone. Lori, what is your gift? My gift is the gift of aloha. Aloha means hello, goodbye, and welcome in Hawaiian, but it also means love and affection. And I have a lot of love to give. What is your gift, Rocco? So my gift is that I enjoy making people laugh. And one of the ways I do that is by telling jokes. I'm going to get an envelope and a card, and the official Kid Lit TV pen, which is a very special pen because it always makes me write funny things. Putting it in the envelope, and I'm sealing it, And here's my gift to you. Why did the pony get sent to his room? Because he wouldn't stop horsing around. Oh, Rocco, that is funny. <laughs> I have a million of them. Mahalo, Rocco. That means thank you. Mahalo for being here with us today. And Rocco, I have one more special gift for our viewers. And what is that? It's an activity 
where they can talk about themselves. Kids, you can use clip art, cut up pictures, you can use words, or you can even draw a picture of yourself. Anything that you like to describe yourself would be perfect. For example, my son Jacob made a picture of, that represents himself. Some things about Jacob are unique because of his disability. He drives a power chair and one day he hopes to create a power chair that can fly, have wings like a jet. And he put a picture of the hospital on here because he loves the hospital. Whenever he goes there, the doctors make him feel better. Well, he did a great job and that certainly does look like a fun activity. Mahalo, Lori. It was so much fun having you with us here today. Until next time, read a book in any format.